Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Old video for you today. It's Tuesday, and we're going to start following Kathy around to see what's old for us today. Hey, friends. I actually have a sticky first because it's an APO um, label, oh, an APO, which means yeah. we have to pull out our clunker of a printer. A big laser is, printer, yeah. which is in that utility closet back there <laughs> it's behind It's a little bit of a hassle, but yeah. Um, the APO labels, they, the print is so small that you can't. It doesn't show up on the Dymo show up label. At all on yeah. The Dymo, so, thankfully, we have a printer. Um, Someday we'll have yeah. a little rolly cart for it so it's we don't just, have to yeah, get in there and out of there. It's funny because, like, we almost never get these, but we had one like two or three days ago <laughs> and we already put it back away because we're like, oh, we probably won't have one for another yeah. few months and then it's been like two days. So, anyways, um, still older with these Adidas sneakers. I picked these up at a local thrift for $8.30 and I sold them on Kittism for 40 free shipping and shipping costs $9.50. So that's that. Um, I'll have to find my own box because, well, actually, an APO, because normally it's, they have Sendo labels, but an APO I think I can put it's in. It's probably a, USPS. A normal USPS. The Palestinian territories are calling me, <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> hey, maybe a, a prince needs a wife That's true. for billions he of dollars. Needs a MacBook or something. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Another kid is in sale. Are these Sorel toddler snow boots? I actually picked these up. Picked these up bought these off of Facebook Marketplace when they were doing the free ship promo in October. I only paid $8 for these and um, I resold them for $38 in free shipping on Kitizen and those fit in a padded flat rate. So those are costing me $8.55 to ship out. So it's like an $18 profit or so. so nice. Yeah, more than two times my money plus getting my eight dollars back i'm happy with that yeah, and we'll verify off camera on to whether or not we could use a usps box but i think we can yeah. because it's a apo which i think is through the united states postal yeah. so we'll verify and then we'll <laughs> we'll update you guys after we're done packing them up which would be good because i'm running low on my just ebay boxes yeah and i keep forgetting to order more we have our new coupon but I just keep forgetting. I know, and my mom has been out of town for a couple of months, and we haven't got any new Amazon boxes from yeah, her. That's true. <laughs> I think we have a few left in the garage. I need to We're bring We're running them up, low. Yeah. So. We're going to have to buy some boxes soon, I think. That's true. That's okay. If I'm happy to buy boxes, even paying a little out of pocket to like offset USPS a little bit and yeah. like take some of our packages to UPS. All right, I sold these Under Armour cleats on eBay. I have $5.94 into these. They sold for $20.95 plus shipping. Those are lightweight, so they're just shipping out in a poly mailer. Do we have any more eBay padded? I don't think so. All right, so let's just do a rainbow unicorn. This guy. All right. <laughs> Unicorn balloon. Those are just some Walmart, or not Walmart, Amazon. Walmart. <laughs> Amazon variety pack mailers um, that I wanted one print from and then ended up with all the others. <laughs> Don't love. This still kind of surprised me. It's just a Walmart jacket. Like the brand is one donation. I don't know how much this cost to begin with, but I imagine a Walmart jacket. I mean, it's a nice jacket, but I can't imagine it was even it might have been 20 bucks. I don't know. Really? I'm thinking like probably 30, 40 bucks probably. <laughs> at Walmart? I don't yeah. think so. I don't, think I don't know. Does. I have Have you shopped for clothes at Walmart lately? Yeah. Well, not lately, but like last year maybe. And even like women's okay. like a jacket like this, like Walmart brand would be like 12 bucks. Oh, okay. So, I don't know. Anyways, I got this at Once Upon a Child with my like snow boot haul. And I, I think I even showed it and said I was going to keep it for my son. But it's a size 10, 12. He's seven and he's a small seven. Um, so I found one that was like a better size that fits him now. So I sold this one. I listed it at $19.95 plus shipping just yesterday and it sold by the end of the day. Uh -huh. And the shipping was $11. This is a heavy jacket. I mean, it's over two pounds. It's too puffy to fit in a padded flat rate. So a person paid like 30 something bucks for this Walmart jacket. With shipping, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it's a really nice jacket. I hope they love it. Um, I'm glad I listed it. I was gonna list it lower just cause you know, I didn't really buy that to flip. I was just wanted to get my 350 back at this point, and I did. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. 
I'd say you did. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Walmart, but what what's the brand on it? Wonder Nation. Wonder Nation. Yeah. So I don't know. It might have been more expensive than I'm thinking, but. Also, I mean, I've sold a lot of Walmart stuff. Even some shirts I bought for you, like flannels, I sold them for more than I paid for them originally after you wore them. Even. Yeah. <sighs> All right. This is a viewer sale going out to Tiffany. Uh, this is the brand Soft Surroundings. Showed this in a recent thrift shawl that we did. And uh, she saw it and reached out to me through Kitizen asking if it was listed, which it wasn't yet because I I washed this one. I don't wash everything. Uh, this one I think had just, it's like that kind of fleece that gets like fuzzies in it. So mm -hmm. I washed it and got all the fuzzies off and cleaned and I listed it for 35 free shipping and she scooped it up. So thank you so much, Tiffany. Um, so yeah, 35 free ship. Shipping through Kitizen cost me 615. It's just under a pound. And then the jacket itself cost me 505 at a local thrift. It's a little bigger than a normal poly. I'll probably do a dog one on that. All right. Thank you so much. Oh, did we say we were going to pack that? Uh, the jacket. Was that a box or a poly? Um, so I paid for three pounds, so we can do a box, which will most likely be this 13 by 13 by 9. Yeah, I think I, I think I still paid $13 to ship that jacket, even though I charged the buyer 11 um, So I still had to pay part of my $20 towards that. Right. Again, I didn't really buy that jacket the flip, so I'm still at least profiting 10 bucks, which is cool. All right. Thank you so much for the support. Yes. We appreciate that. And <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. All right. And then box O. I'll put my over here. He's curled up in a little ball. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh uh. me <laughs> All right. Uh. This is, I think, also from that recent thrift haul. This is just a brand Betty Terrell, I think. I have sold this brand once or twice. I only pick it up if it's like super cheap. This was only 50 cents at Goodwill. Um, and I bought it cause it, I don't know. Did anyone ever say what they thought those were called? The little, no, I, I don't, I don't know. Stores. I've been, I've been bad at catching up on comments and stuff <laughs> just cause of the flooring right. has taken up all my time. <laughs> so I don't, well, I, I don't know if anybody did. Soldiers, and then when I was looking it up, um, to list it just to kind of see the retail price, which these cost on their website, like $58, which is crazy to me. They called it just a soldier. So. Okay. Anyways, um, I have 50 cents into it. I listed it at 25 on Posh. Someone offered me 20. I was very happy to accept. So that's going out. And since it's Posh, I will put it in one of these cute little boxes. All right, in box AC. <laughs> it's like he doesn't even know his head fell off the thing. <laughs> Right. Your head fell off, Reese. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I was sleeping like that. Um, these are just some bands that I had bought for my son. I actually bought them off of, I don't know. I, I know I bought them off Thread Up. I don't remember the price. It was right around $15, maybe like plus tax. So I p sold them though for $15 plus shipping on Facebook. So I'm probably lost a buck or two off of them. Yeah. But he got a ton of wear. When we got them, they were brand new. Um, now they're very used and still sold for $15 plus shipping. So happy with that. Heavy of these. I might have a box to keep them under a pound because face, Facebook, the label is good for a pound. And yeah. We have a bunch of little small boxes that I like to use when I can. Which, if you didn't know, you can use boxes on first class mail. Just you just sure have to stay under, under that weight. Yeah. So even though the shoes are only 12, if I add a box and that makes it 1.01, yeah. that's technically then priority. and it has to be your own box you cannot use a priority mailbox anything right the white boxes <laughs> the free boxes you cannot use nope and so yeah if i can't find a box to keep it under i'll just do a poly mailer all right then cz this was another item i listed yesterday yeah I, i've been on my 15 a day roll so far today i'd sold four of the 15 i listed just yesterday so wow. i'm very happy with that uh this is one of them so yeah, one of, I don't know, one of those was one of them. Um, this is one of those Rain Spooner button downs, which was a new to us brand that I had heard of other resellers talk about and just hadn't found yet. But 
once I found it, when I saw it the other day, I was like, oh yeah, I definitely have to try it out. So I did. Grab two sh button downs. This one sold first. $30 plus shipping. We paid $5 for it, so. Nice little flip. Yep. And I feel like I folded that a little too big to fit in a 10 by 13. So I'll just do the eBay mailer. All right. This is a viewer sale that has three items. So let me do this one first. Box D. This actually sold last night just before we went to the post office, but it was on. That's right. Price sale on Poshmark, so I couldn't fix, like say I shipped it for at least three hours. So I just saved it for today. Get some bionic, like snakeskin slip on loafer flats. I paid $704 for these and they sold for my fullest price $50. So very happy with that sale. Very nice. Those will fit in a regional A. And so if you're unfamiliar with Poshmark's three hour rule, if they pay full price for an item, they Poshmark allows them three hours to cancel that no questions asked really, right? Yeah. So um, it's our recommendation to not ship within yeah, that three cause hours. Because like, they could cancel after you ship on accident. I know a lot of people click these. I always do on Poshmark. I can't really show you because I've already clicked them all, but if you go to your orders and then like when you open an order that has like three little click buttons, it's yeah, like, a like a checklist. Yeah. If you try to check one and it hasn't been three hours, it won't let you. It'll say this buyer has up to three hours to cancel. Yeah. Anyways, I always click those buttons just to like tell Posh and the buyer, hey, I've already shipped them. Mm -hmm. Usually I click them. I click them as soon as I print the label, which sometimes I don't ship till the next day. Like right. if they buy at 7 p.m., I still printed the label. I mm -hmm. click the buttons even though I'm not going to drop it off till the next day. So. I would just, yeah, don't even try because yeah. they could still cancel. All right. And then this is our viewer, Michael. So he's, I thought he was a viewer the first time when he bought four items from us. He didn't like leave a note or anything, but we rarely get four item bundles that aren't from viewers. Especially on eBay, I think it was, right? right? Yeah. I mean, I would say I get bundles on Kitizen, but yeah, definitely not on eBay. So thought it was a viewer and um, the video went live, I think last night and he did say he was yeah, a viewer. He responded, so. So. And then he bought three more items. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Michael. Yes. Um, so, A.W. And then C.G. And then one is a mug. So, I'll just show you these really fast. Um, so, this is one of the other of my 15 that sold in the first day. So, it's a Columbia men's like pullover sweatshirt. Uh, this is a Wrangler pearl snap button down. And then he. Let me see. Don't step on his head. Grab the mug. Able to reach it? Got it. Hopefully, it did <laughs> Yeah, so this is a Life is Good mug. It just has a snowflake and then says, do what you like, like what you do on that side. So, awesome. really nice thick mug. Um, so yeah, he bought those. The total for the three items came out to $51.60 plus shipping. And I had about $12.57 into the three items. That's what I paid for cost of goods. So thank you awesome. again, Michael. Yeah, yeah he absolutely. said he was a new viewer and he, so we have great stuff. So thank you, that's very <laughs> kind. Um, I am doing UPS for his order. So I'll grab one of our own boxes for that. Yeah, Michael, thank you so much for the order, both of them, yes. and all the support. That's very generous, <laughs> and, and we appreciate it very our much. Channel and subbing, yeah, yeah. And watching. Thank you so much to all of our amazing viewers. We're going to get this stuff all packed up, and then we're going to go over our numbers. So stick around, guys. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you um, why we use a thermal printer <laughs> and why we don't use this big, nice, amazing laser printer. Um, she's printing the label started. Let's see how long it takes. I don't want to just show them. Oh, I can't really flip this kind of. No, but you could do it. Just a random print on it. So Dymo's printing. Done. That's how fast that prints. But. <laughs> Obviously, we can't use that label, but come on. Any day. Oh. There we go. Go. <laughs> It came out okay? Yeah, I mean, it comes out really nice on this printer. Yeah. yeah Another good. downside is these are not waterproof. The Dymo yeah. labels are. Which I assume APO is kind of taking a far journey, so a, a waterproof label would probably be useful. Would be useful. Um, but yeah, I do think 
we don't have any. I do think um, the USPS has plastics for right. that specific. I think it's specifically like overseas. I don't know. Like a sleeve. I or haven't something? bought them because I feel like the li the rules on those are very different. Tight, yeah. <laughs> so plus we don't need them for our Dymo labels because yeah they're already wet. They're plus I mean look how big this this printer is. <laughs> Yeah. I keep it in this closet and it's a pain in the butt because we got to move this rack. I got to remove this door <laughs> because when I open the door, it falls off the hinges there. And that's our water heater closet. But anyway. <laughs> gotta love a brand new house. <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to point that out that if you're on the fence of getting a thermal printer and you're printing a lot of things, the time savings alone is probably worth it. Yeah. I, and if you're not and you are using something like this, I don't think a lot of people know. So these are just um, sticker labels. Yeah. Uh, but They're a half lot of people sheets. still do old school paper and tape it on. So uh, this, I, when I was just doing Kitizen, I would just use these. And mm -hmm. I didn't even know about Dymos or anything like right. that. Um, but yeah, uh, a lot of people were just using tape and paper. I was at least using these, which honestly, these are... A few cents a label, I think. Yeah, they're pretty in inexpensive. And they're not waterproof. You still have to use your ink or toner or whatever. Toner, yeah. Um, so honestly, this is a lot more expensive than just buying a Dymo. The Dymo or Rolo, whatever. There are yeah. cheaper brands as well. I, you know, it's 100 200 I think ours was 2 ish 100 Yeah, um, I think usually you can get them on sale for like yeah. 160 something like that, 175 Under 200 bucks. you should be able to get a Rolo or a Dymo. But. Yeah. And so, like, that's a, it's an expense up front, but you're going to save a lot overall. I mean, you still have to buy yeah. the labels. We buy the generic ones, which they say not to, so we kind of void our warranty that way, but it's not a big deal. It's a lot of savings yeah. on the labels. Um, if it breaks, we'll just get a new one or different. If this breaks, we're getting a Rolo, probably. But, um, <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. The demo's <laughs> fine. It does have its issues. I'm sure all printers do this thing messes up sometimes. Too, so. Yeah. I've had to replace the, yeah. the transfer roller on this before. But anyway, just wanted to point that out to you guys before we got that all packed up because it was... Yeah. Now i got to spend another five minutes putting this thing away back in the dungeon. So <laughs> and then we'll as be... far as the box... Yeah, we did figure out that it could be... It is priority, and um, I mean, there wasn't... There's a lot of threads about it on Google, but basically the only way you can ship to an APO is through USPS. So yeah. I assume you can use And if you look at the label, it says the P for priority. Right. So we're kind of, you know, we're just going to go with it. If it's a problem, we'll find out, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. Right. So we'll be right back after we get this stuff all figured out and cleaned up. All right. Got everything all put back away, packed up. Reese, why aren't you on your bed? Why aren't you on your comfy bed? <laughs> He's a good boy though. So we were gonna go over our numbers and these are for October. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, so this probably looks like gibberish to most <laughs> people, but um, I didn't like have as much detail as I did like last time we did this over the summer, I think, just cause I ran out of time. Like it took a long time to figure out. <laughs> cause you guys know we sell a lot of our kids' stuff as well as, well as thrifted goods. So I yeah. didn't figure out how many of them were our kids' is this time or anything like right. that. Right. So that being said, October, we lit, or we sold 423 items total. Um, 34 of them on Kitizen, 48 on Mercari, 72 on Facebook, 117 on Poshmark, and 152 on eBay. So, yeah, Poshmark's back up to yeah. That I mean, a close before number Poshmark two. VA, I would say that would have been like somewhere around 70. Yeah. Um, so, but then eBay would have been. It's just like more selling on Poshmark, which I kind of prefer because of the ease of shipping and everything like that. Everything about Poshmark is faster than eBay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm very happy with that. Um, so our gross sales amount came out to $13,538.97. That accounts for shipping on, so like on Kid is an I do free shipping. It doesn't take into account the Mercari or Facebook or Poshmark labels because the people are just paying for those already. Like right. that's not part of my gross sales amount. So. Sorry guys, got a phone call and it <laughs> cuts off the video, so sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I don't remember what I was saying, but basically that doesn't, so like Poshmark, you know, they're paying their 740, whatever, I don't even know how much a label costs anymore. Right. That doesn't, that amount 
is not in this number. Right, right, right. Um, and it's only in the number for eBay because I have to account for that in my everything that we're paying taxes on and stuff. So it does include eBay and Kitizen because I do free shipping and then just um, account for the shipping label mm -hmm. to get my net profit anyways. So after the gross sales, you're going to take out your platform fees. So these are the breakdowns per platform, but basically all added up together. The five different platforms we sell on, we owed $1,997.19 for fees. And that typically comes out before we even get our payout anyway, yeah. but we're just showing <laughs> it as far as, our, as as part of our gross, right? Just, you then, know, as a deduction, so. So then you'll take off your shipping. So again, that's everything. So again, that doesn't include um, Facebook or Poshmark because this is the amount I'm taking off of my gross, and I, right. I didn't include those labels in my gross, so I'm not taking off the $7 times 117 Poshmark labels that I got, because I didn't account for that in my gross sales. So anyways, um, so it's just three platforms in Mercari. There's pretty much none. I must have had like one media mail this month. Right. Because um, yeah, Mercari, I just always use their labels as well. Anyways, so that, the total for shipping for the two platforms then was 1226.15. So again, 13 minus that, minus that. Then you're going to minus your cost of goods, which was kind of a lot this month. So that makes me think I sold a lot of our kids' items because that's where my high cost of goods is. It's not really yeah. cost of goods, but when I'm selling a kid shirt that I bought for $30, I type it in as I paid $30 because that's true. Mm -hmm. And then um, it's either I usually break even, I might lose plus or minus five bucks, which if it's plus five bucks, we pay the taxes. If it's minus five bucks, we take a loss of five bucks. So. Right. We don't write that loss against our net. So. But I, I mean, I did right here, <laughs> just for right. you guys. Is. So of all the items I sold of our kids this month, which again, I didn't go through and find out exactly how much it was, but I only lost $148.06. That's for two kids' clothes. I buy them the nicest clothes that I want to buy them. You know, everything that Shoes, I want. And it's still, yeah. yeah, I still only lost $148. I don't know. I think that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> if you break that down per kid, that's $75-ish a month for a kid to have, have all clothes. the clothes you want. Yeah. yeah. Um, so not bad at all. And then after you minus all of these things, including the cost of goods, we're left with $66,287.44. That would be my net profit, although it's not, I didn't really factor in. It's not counting expenses. Right. So we have. Which isn't a lot. You know, like our eBay store fee, list perfectly cost, like yeah. those kinds of monthly expenses. Uh, poly mailers, we don't include that shipping yeah, so material I just, here. I mean, it's really not much. Like, honestly, I know people act like it's a lot to run. I guess it is if you have employees and stuff, but we don't. So yeah. we don't have to pay an employee. Um, we don't have to pay for an office space or a storage unit or anything like that. This is our home. We can actually, I don't think Chris does, but probably deduct I do. our yeah. office okay, <laughs> as part of our taxes. Um, so the eBay is $60, that's our store fee. Um, I didn't include that in the platform fees, but so that's just, the platform fee I included here is just like the 13 or whatever percent they take and then any promoted listing fees. Mm -hmm. So other than that, it's just the $60 store fee. Um, poly mailers, like you said, which, you know, we sold 423 items, but they didn't all go in a poly mailer. Right. Um, it, let's say even half of them did. My poly mailer packs, Shipping it, I get a discount just for being an affiliate with them. I do pay for my polys, but I'd say I pay 15 to 18 bucks for a hundred pack. Um, so let's say I use two of them, so $35, $40. But when you guys use our affiliate code, I do get a kickback. So yeah. it kind of offsets what I even pay. So I would consider any of our shipping materials free pretty much right? Um, because of that. So I get at least about as much as I'm going to buy poly mailers that month. So. Right. Um, and and um, obviously on the taxes side, like we're still, we do count that as income when you guys, you know, um, when you guys get us a kickback or anything like that, that is considered income. Yep. And then we do write off our expenses of the poly mailers, but we just in our heads right. consider it, you know, a, a wash, I guess. Yeah. Um, so what else could somebody say is like a cost? Is that pretty much, I mean... I mean, there's all kinds of... Any yeah, kind like of... The, the eBay boxes, they give us that $50 coupon. I've never really spent more than that, and we haven't ran out of boxes yet, although we're close. So, yeah. I mean, they get the new ones, but usually within the three... What's a quarter? 
four months, three months, uh, <laughs> quarters, three months. Yeah, three months. Um, yeah, I, I buy like two packs of the twenty fives, and that I, I pay a few dollars after the fifty dollar coupon, and that lasts us until we get another coupon. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's pretty minimal stuff like to run the business at this point. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I can't think of like other. <laughs> we don't pay rent that, up here, and that's just because yeah. we we own. We own our house free and clear. We don't have a mortgage. Right. Um, so we're not like paying, the business is not like paying us rent to, for up here. You know, we just, yeah. we just write it off as our office space. And, um, but obviously, you know, your numbers are going to have to reflect your situation, you know, your cost of materials, your cost of space to rent and all that kind of stuff. We're just trying to share our numbers with you guys so you can kind of understand, um, our sales and stuff so <laughs> yeah and so my goal for my goal has always been well for the last few months anyways i wanted to hit 200 bucks a day net profit um every single day seven days a week and i've never done it until this month so mm -hmm. if you break this down divided by 31 days we're at 20282 so um and again well i don't think we said it yet but that net profit is pre-tax so obviously right. we're gonna have to deduct our taxes <laughs> from that number yeah and also again this is i kind of touched on this last time we did a full breakdown of numbers but cost of goods i got four thousand dollars back that's money that's yeah. i took back and it's in my bank account again i didn't spend that much on inventory this month i didn't calculate my receipts but um I would say no more than two thousand. So yeah, because you've been. That's just an extra another two thousand I have sitting in my bank waiting right. for either a big deal that I want to spend it on, or if we need it for a house project or whatever I need it for, it's there. So, yeah, I mean this money is not lost. You get your four thousand dollars. I got that back, so I made this plus this technically, but I only have to pay taxes on the profit because mm -hmm. the cost of goods is not profit. I'm just getting that back for right. what I paid. So. And that's the money that we use to reinvest in new inventory and stuff, so. Yeah, so. I We've gotten to the point now where that number is usually pretty even, like our, our in yeah. cost of goods is about equal or, you know. Yeah, I mean, some. When you average it out over the year now, right? Like maybe not per each month, like obviously you didn't spend that much this month, yeah. but you got that much back. So it, it's a pretty much break even um and we then, have a, again the cost of goods that does include stuff that we sold of our kids so it's not technically all cost of goods because some of it's their clothes and i did buy them some new yeah. clothes but it'll all work itself out when those get sold but yeah. yeah so i was very happy to hit my goal make over the 200 dollars before taxes um uh, my eventual goal hopefully not too far in the future <laughs> is i saw something a while back that said I, i've always wanted to make like six figures on my own yeah um, Net. So yeah, net profit. So if it's like two seventy three, I think two seventy three, two seventy four per day would be that. So I'm getting close. If I could sell a couple more pairs of shoes a day, you mm -hmm. know, last month in October, you guys, we can look at this board now. I was very, very consistent in listing. I only missed what two days at all, like where I didn't list a single thing. One, two. Um, I wanted to do 15 a day, although I didn't really start that till around here. Yeah, the 10th, so, I think, well, the 11th. Yeah, I mean, out of 31 days, I only missed two days of listing. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I didn't calculate them all up, but it's probably right around 400 items I listed, and I sold 423. So yeah. I and mean, now you're three weeks in of 15 a day. Yeah. And, and it's I'm pretty still, much created a new habit for you. It's like a new yeah. routine, and now it's it's and just it's, what yeah, it is. As I get better at it, like. I made that much without even having a routine. Right. Um, so as I get my routine, you know, it usually takes a few months to kind of show up in your sales. So like yeah. what I listed this month, I've sold a few of them, but most of them are going to sell in December or January. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to keep up the 15 and hope at least by January, I'm ready to bump it up to 20 or 25. I mentioned I want to, my all time goal is to do 30 a day all by myself seven yeah. days a week um, and I don't want to list seven days a week I want to have them ready and then all right. I have to do is either schedule them and have them go live that day because I don't want to work obviously I don't want to work seven days a week but <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so that's where we're at right now yeah. yeah I I was trying to remember this I pulled up March I think March was my last best month and I did thirteen thousand eighty six dollars and I was just under 6k net 5980 so yeah, this was definitely the best, and I think it's just going to get better. Yeah. And honestly, I think if you weren't 
doing like the kids clothes like you do if if we were just you know not treating the kids clothes as you know like she she spends a good amount on our kids clothes but we also get a lot of that money back and that's time you know that she's trading her time for that and i think if you weren't doing that you probably would be closer to that 273 or whatever a day items are probably our kids so imagine 100 yeah, items 100 more items at a, a month 15 dollars a month profit minimum that's probably so. yeah you're getting there uh, and that's not even including any of my work guys I, I haven't obviously listed anything this month or last month in October um, we're working to get me to a point where I can start doing you know three a day five a day eight a day ten a day those kind of step up you know increments incremental growth into um, maybe even one day I'm able to do another hundred K net in just the reselling. You can't start till I hit mine. No, I, I, <laughs> trust me, I don't think it's gonna happen before you get yeah. there. So, anyway, guys, just wanted to give you a quick, I guess, or long rundown. I don't know how long that was, <laughs> that was of our numbers, um, so that you guys can get an idea of uh, of what our months look like as of late. Um, and this doesn't really break out our viewer sales or anything. Right. Um, oh yeah, I did want to mention the spreadsheet. You know, so Chris. I think you've mentioned it. You, yeah. Chris has been working on a way better spreadsheet. So we've showed you guys our Google Doc. It's pretty lame. Um, Thanks. It's, just basic. <laughs> it's nice. It's my it's beta version. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like it's good enough. But um, no, not your, not your spreadsheet. This. What I use right now. That, is, I made that. I know you made it. It's fine. It's just not great. Like it. It it's doesn't lame. show any sort of <laughs> right. data or anything I'm like that. Other than you. like, yeah, I can see, you know, <laughs> what I. Yeah. how many sales I made per platform it it adds up on the number so it's nice it's it's nicer than nothing but uh, the one yeah. he's been working on is way better and that will break down like a lot more yeah so I'm excited for it and we're gonna <laughs> let you guys have it as well um, hopefully by the end of this month but for sure by the new year so yeah yeah, I have been working on a new and updated spreadsheet for a little while now, just in my spare time, which is why it's been taking a while. <laughs> but with that new spreadsheet that I've been working on, it, we've kind of been using this system spreadsheet that we are using currently, I don't know, for about three or four years now. And it works to get the numbers, but it doesn't really give you all the real nitty gritty data that you would like. And that's kind of what I've been working on with the new spreadsheet. Um, it'll be able to tell us how many quickly on like a little dashboard showing us like how much uh, our average sale price is for eBay versus Poshmark versus Kitten or all that kind of stuff. Average cost of goods from, you know, Goodwill versus Goodwill bins, stuff like that, average. That kind of stuff is what we're looking for in our next spreadsheet. And we will be releasing that to you guys. And we're going to have it definitely, definitely before 2022 so that um, it would just be easy to use right from January 1. And then you can, you know, it'll, it'll, It'll keep a current. It'll keep updated with every month that goes by. You'll be able to look back on your past months and even past years and all that kind of stuff. So, if that's something you're looking forward to or are interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you haven't done so yet, we will be releasing that very soon, along with a video and all that kind of stuff. But um, anyway, guys, that's what's going on over here in the Ginger Marvin household. <laughs> We're gonna get this stuff off to the post office, go pick up the boys from school, and that's gonna do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all of our amazing and wonderfully generous viewers, and I hope to see you all in the next one.